It's not a job. It's a way of life. I like to imagine you are the first person to ever see this in the history of people, and that's like a mind-boggling effect. Meerkat, meer meaning more, and kat meaning cat. In Dutch, the name for them is Stockstärke, Swedish Surikat, and German Atmännchen, little earth people, earth men. The name's Grant McIlrath, more commonly known as the Meerkat Man, and I run the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in Oetseren, Western Cape, South Africa. I would not be able to do my conservation work without the BMWs that I have here. Quite simply because the animals have become so accustomed to these, it could take me many, many years if I had to introduce a different vehicle. It is such a secretive world that you are becoming part of when you're with the animals. And by sharing it, it just was something I found. It brought smiles to people. Some people have actually cried when watching animals up close. Finding them is extremely exhilarating because it's like a huge treasure hunt and I call it magic, basically, meerkat magic. When you see them and these animals seem to just materialize out of the ground with dust coming out of the burrow as they're digging their way out, it's as if it's magic. By being that same space with them, I start to forget about anything else in the human world as such. I like to say if you start to look through the eyes of wildlife, you really start to see unclouded reality and you really do get transported into this timeless kind of atmosphere. It's almost like you're dreaming, in fact. Certainly when meerkats have seen 4x4s I've driven and other off-road vehicles, they just ran for cover immediately. So I thought, how can I go about getting them used to something that they would not otherwise get to see? So I decided to take my own private road vehicle. I think if people had to see this car where I've taken it, they would actually not believe it. and it has been through huge amounts of mud and dust and it's still going. It's absolutely unique in the work I do in the world. There's no one else in the world driving a BMW to wild meerkats. Just being accepted for who you are. It doesn't matter what you're wearing, what you believe in, what your uh, financial status is or anything. There's no politics at all. You just go out there and once they accept you, it's just it's an amazing, peaceful experience. It's important to note that the nickname the meerkat man was given to me because I interpret the sounds that the meerkats make.